I'm Nicole from Engadget, and we're at the Research at Intel event. Here I'm talking to Divya from Intel, and she's going to talk to us about connected vehicle safety with um, taillights. Yes, thank you. Uh, as she said, I'm Divya Kolar. I'm a technology evangelist at Intel Labs. In this demonstration, you can see that two scooters are talking to each other via tail lamps. And I'll show you in a bit how the scooter in the rear is knowing when to stop and when to you know, accelerate. By doing that, it is basically warning the person in the front this, when he's distracted before he you know, ends up in an accident. And same with the back person, person on the rear scooter. If he's trying to accelerate when the scooter in the front is trying to decelerate, it's basically warning him to slow down. Now, if you try to extrapolate this information into a larger infrastructure, such as a city, right? This information, the talking scooters, can basically build up a cloud of information which can, on, on which when analytics apply, Basically, the driver who is 10 miles away or 20 miles away, or who is about person who is about to take out from his home, can predict the traffic patterns on his route. Today, the challenge is some of these connections, the intelligent objects, is dependent on the data networks. And these connections are flaky. You know, we can't rely on them. And that is why we are leveraging visible light, which is much more reliable and faster, so that this information cloud can be generated much quicker and real-time information can be provided to the city. So let's jump into the demonstration very quickly. Sure. So the first one, I'm going to trigger the left turn signal for this scooter. And you will see immediately from this smartphone screen that there is a left arrow we're showing here. I just trigger the left turn signal for this scooter in the front. And you will see there's a left arrow signal shown immediately because the, all the data are exchanged in real time. Can you explain how, how it's doing that? How, how, how is it being transmitted? Uh, the, the, the raw information from the dashboard. All the information from the dashboard, including the speed, turning signal, braking signal, all of them are transmitted from uh, through the visible light to this scooter. And we use the receiver to receive all the data, decode them, and show the information on the smartphone screen. OK, um, go, go on. And the second demo is that I will trigger a brake for the scooter in the front. And it will show immediately from the smartphone screen that the screen will turn red when I trigger the brake. And you can see from the smartphone screen, yeah, there's a brake bus turns red, meaning that this scooter just triggered braking. And when I release, you can see the red bus is disappeared. Oh, thank you so much, Divya and Xiao, um, for showing us this um, talking taillights. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.